today's day is pretty straightforward. We're gonna grab some fruit. We're gonna work on a bit of the prep work and then we're gonna start class. Some dragon fruit for the day. Yum. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Grandfather's doing something with the net. It's more of a suck. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're beginning formal analysis. <laughs> um, I think we're doing. I think we're doing statistics. Yeah, we're doing probability, rules, and interpretations. Okay, let me just enter this class. Yeah. Just finished what the fuck did I just do? Uh cheers everyone, I just finished my classes. That's how memorable they are. I forgot what I was doing. And uh now like I've got a shoulder injury, so I'm gonna go for a massage to get that like sorted out and then we're gonna come back because I've got an assignment that I have to do. Yahoo! And uh I need to start working on that prep work, trying to get ready for tomorrow. But this week we are done a week of classes and I'm super stoked about it. So woohoo, we did it. And I got my uh, grades back for my last assignment. It was pretty good, except for the self-awareness part where I uh, ranked a two in, which is, I have some levels of self-awareness, but I did not do well in that test. So, um, oh, I like the lighting here. So um, yeah, let's go to the, the massage place, get a massage and uh, buy some food. I'm fucking starving and uh come back edit videos and just chill because it's the weekend baby friday yeet cheap vegetables this is literally just like mashed potatoes and fried vegetables for about like four dollars i love it right now it's 11 p.m and i'm so exhausted but i've got a meeting for my civic project so i'm gonna attend that i'm not sh really sure what's gonna happen but uh i i know it's mandatory and we have to do it so i really want to go to sleep but gotta do what you have to do sometimes <laughs> Okay, so I just finished my meeting. It's quarter past midnight, 12.30, and I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, whilst they were talking, I decided to stick my foot in my roller. I don't know why. I'm trying to get it out without using my hands, but uh, it's proving difficult. It's pretty f it's stupid things Sinead does when she's full. Okay, there we go. Morning, I'm going to sleep. I think tomorrow I'm going to be going to the gym because I feel like I need that. I need that brain refresher. And uh, I'll probably work on my civic project in the morning. You know, just daily grind, daily grind. It's Saturday and I'm getting up. It's nine o'clock right now. I'm gonna do my work on my essay for complex systems. I've been trying to embrace gratitude a bit more because there's like a lot in me that, that wants to run away from this assignment and like, you know, just quit everything entirely and like run up into a cave and just like, you know, like be a recluse forever. But I'm trying to combat the de that desire with reminding myself how grateful I am to be in this university. I'm so grateful to even have the opportunity to get this sort of education. Uh, this is a really interesting subject and uh, I still have enough time to do it. I still have until Wednesday. So I've got enough time to complete the assignment. I know a lot about the topic and i just need to do it okay i need to stop panicking and actually just you know just enjoy the experience enjoy the process come on sinead okay we're gonna do this assignment yeah I'm setting my timer for 25 minutes so that i make sure that i keep taking breaks before i used to just be like eh, what's the point of the timer we can just go for three hours who cares but i realized that the point of the timer 
is that it's helpful because it allows you to go for longer even though you're taking breaks. So rather than like, you know, burning out and burning your ass out for two hours, like I can actually go for longer, like maybe four hours, if I just take, you know, five minute breaks here and there to like refresh my mind. Because if I do like two hours hardcore, then I just end up burning out and I like just fall into the bed like, oh. Like I just fall into the bed like, oh, okay. And then never want to do anything ever again. But if I take breaks in between, and that allows me to work for longer periods of time despite the short breaks because it gives me a chance to like refresh and like you know bump that energy back up and become more efficient so yeah my tip for the day i'm just spewing tips all the time aren't i Alrighty, so i've been doing a bit of work in the morning and i think it's time for me to move to a different place i'm gonna go to a cafe grab a smoothie and try and do my work there because uh right now i'm just just kind of sick of my home and just i want it to be clean and it's not clean and there's shit all over the floor and i just need some freshness so we're gonna go for a ride so i'm basically trying to write an essay about why minorities are underrepresented at all Excuse me, it's more than just an essay. Basically, I'm trying to explain why minorities are underrepresented in Oxford and Cambridge. And to do so, I'm just drawing like some causal diagrams and stuff. So I'm just like brainstorming. I think it's, oh, I really like the um, iPad Notes app because I feel like it just makes things look pretty pretty. Right now, I'm just like brainstorming the various causal diagrams and face space diagrams that I can use to kind of explain this concept. Yeah, it's nice. I really like the Apple Notes app. I feel like it just makes things like look cool. I'm like fond of the pen. I feel like an important part about the essay writing process is just like brainstorming and trying to like take all of your ideas from your brain and just like put them onto a piece of paper and then like seeing how like those ideas can connect because I feel like like before then I was just like oh my god I know so much but I have no idea how it connects but like now that I've like written it all down I can kind of like more see where like what the direction of this assignment is going to take so yeah tip just come to the gym just finish my workout I'm gonna grab a cookie one thing that I've definitely learned about myself over the years is that I need exercise to function. Like if I don't, like I, I didn't work out for the past like three days. And I was like having the hardest time doing anything and I was so sad. And I was like, oh right, I haven't been to the gym. So uh, <gasps> going to the gym, I'm not sure why, it's just what I need. So I'm gonna head off now to grab some food, just get some takeaway and then come home and eat it with free rice from my house. That's how we save money. You buy a little bit of something and then you go get rice from home. This is what I'm planning to do in San Francisco. So it's Sunday right now. I just did a tutoring session with the girl who I'm working with. I'm teaching physics, so we're just going through projectile motion equations. Now I really have to work on my assignment, so I'm gonna do that for as long as I can. Um, still working on my complex systems analysis and then I really have to do some pre-work. So uh, yeah, it's going good, honestly. Hopefully I'm gonna see my dad later because I'm because I haven't seen him in a while. It's kind of hard when you don't live with your parents, but like, you know, you live in the same city to like find time to meet up. So yeah, right now I'm gonna be working on my uh, complex systems assignment. I really need to work on it. Uh, I really haven't done that much. I've done a lot of thinking about it, but I haven't done a lot of executing on it. So it's just ideas at the moment, which I need to turn into information, which I need to turn into uh, something legit. So yeah, we'll see. Just stopping for a little snack here. This is a classic Indonesian treat. It's basically some rice pancakes with some brown sugar and some coconut. I really enjoy these. Truly living the phrase, fake it till you make it. Oh Hello. my god. I've been blessed. So I just put some sugar on it and coconut shreds and drizzle it on and it's delicious. The internet, we need a gimmick. So let's do mm. this as 30 things I have learned in 30 years. Nice. Okay, so I just went for a massage and now I'm at the gym. The person who was massaging me knew me from TikTok. She was really nice and really good. We just had a cute conversation and uh, yeah, it was, just, it was just really weird. I've, been, I've had a few people recognize me, but like they knew me before. I never had anyone who like you know, just met in real life and they're like, oh, I know you from the internet. And I was like, yeah, it's weird. Back from the gym and I think I just had a bit 
of an epiphany. I was trying to look at like why are ethnic minorities underrepresented at Oxford and Cambridge, but this has been a difficult topic to navigate because I don't want to just like put a circle around all the black and brown people and be like, okay, you guys are all disadvantaged minorities and like why are there so many white people? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so I realized that a better way to frame this question that I want to do is to instead look at why private schools and grammar schools are overrepresented in Oxford and Cambridge because I, despite the fact that they make up like less than 10% of the schools, grammar schools and private schools, they make up like 40% of the students that Oxford and Cambridge take into their universities. So I'm gonna flip my question around and start to look at that. I can still talk about like ethnic minorities being underrepresented as an emergent property, but I feel like it's better to frame it in this way. Like I don't wanna like stereotype and generalize about people and the, plus there's like, you know, all of the different communities in BME, there's not like great data about like how they interact specifically. They just kind of lump them all together and like, yep, here we go. I do think there is a lot more information about like how private school, grammar school, uh, public schools function in comparison. So yeah, I'm gonna be working on that. Woohoo! So it's five o'clock right now. I'm gonna be here until 10 o'clock and I'm gonna get this assignment done because now, now that I've got the outline, the big picture figured out. I think now I just need to fill in the details. Let's go, Let's see what happens. I don't think I'm gonna get it all done, but I hope so. Okay, so I'm just really frustrated at the moment because this is my diagram. It looks so cool on the iPad. But then when I transfer it into Photoshop and I've got a white background, it looks terrible. Like this, like this looks super scrappy. But this looks so nice. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to transfer this into like typed up stuff, blah blah blah, whatever. Oh my god.